أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد إن الحمد لله certainly all praise gratitude thanks belong to Allah سبحانه وتعالى نحمده we praise him and ask him who ask for assistance ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله قال الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا believers اتقوا الله have consciousness of Allah فلا حق تقاته دوه دزرز فلا ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون don't you dare die that you forgot that you need to be in this full state of submission <coughs> So what does Allah say about Ibrahim alayhi salam? Multiple places, and I'm gonna let me read one place that what he says, and I have a point about it. Abraham was truly an example, devoutly obedient to God and true in faith. He was not an idolater. He was thankful for the blessings of God who chose him and guided him to a straight path. إن إبراهيم كان أمة قانة لله حنيفة ولم يكن من المشركين شاكرا لعنومه اجتباه وراه إلى صراط المستقيم. We gave him blessings in the world and he is among the righteous in the hereafter. وآتيناه في الدنيا حسنة وإنه في الآخرة لمن المسلمين مصلحين. So pay attention. Allah is testifying about Ibrahim alayhi salam. He says, he was incredible human being. There's an ayah in the Quran, Allah says, وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا Allah says, regardless of what you do as a human being, single-handedly, collectively, you are not going to be able to satisfy, show gratitude, and say enough thanks to a single ni'ma, a single bounty, single blessings of God. We are not capable of. Allah has said that in the Quran. But here, Allah says, Shakira li anu umi. Ibrahim alayhi salam, Abraham single-handedly, just one human being. He was able, and Allah testifies in the Quran saying, he was able and he satisfied blessings of God, thankfulness. He was enough thankful for several blessings. That is a, that is, I don't know if I did justice to this as a khutbah on its own. <clears throat> it's an incredible test, uh, justification by Allah. And Allah says, he, he has been received blessings and he is among righteous. Well, well, what does this mean to you and I? Then we reveal to you, O Muhammad, Follow the creed of Abraham, a man of pure faith who was not an idolater. What does this mean? You and I are in the religion of Ibrahim alayhi salam. That's what Allah says. Everything that you and I do, as far as religion is concerned, it goes back to Ibrahim alayhi salam. The greatest example is this, Hajj. Imagine every activity in Hajj, it goes to him, <coughs> right? And, and any other religious activities that we have. He submitted himself totally to Allah. He was at complete peace, complete peace. Allah taught Adam alayhi salam an incredible phrase. And he said, this phrase is a phrase of greeting. It shall be for entire, for your children until end of time. What is that phrase? That phrase is, phrase of salam. The phrase of salam, salam alaikum, right? That's the phrase he taught. And Jannah is Dar of salam. People in Jannah will say greeting of salam to each other. Allah, for all of you, inshallah, they will be in Jannah, will greet you with as-salam. Okay, what am I talking about? Our scholars teach us one incredible thing that you hear on, especially on days like this on Eid. It says, if you have anything with you, 
that is not really good, this is the time to fix that. What am I talking about? Let me give you by way of a hadith. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, You shall not enter Jannah, paradise, unless you have faith, unless you have Iman. You can't enter Jannah unless you have faith, Iman. You cannot have Iman unless you love each other. So pay attention and make these correlations. Entering Jannah requires that you have the faith. In order for you to have faith, you have to love each other. And and sallallahu alayhi wasallam goes on and says, Shall I inform you? Shall I not inform you of what what will be what will bring love among each other, among you? Afshis salam, spread salam. That's what he says. So <clears throat> To go to Jannah, all you have to do is just spread salam. That's all you have to do. What does a salam thing mean now? What does this mean? Salam is usually translated as Assalamu alaikum, peace and peace of God be upon you. It's a prayer. As soon as you say Assalamu alaikum to someone, to your brother, to your sister, you're, you're telling them that I am making dua for you. You're saying, I want to ask the best from Allah to you. You're saying, I have nothing with you. I have no issues with you. Whatever happened in the past, it's gone. I don't have, I don't have, any, I don't have any beef with you. I want to love you. I want to, be, I want to respect you. I want to um, honor you. Those are the things that you're saying when you say, Assalamu alaikum to someone. And this is why Allah taught Adam and Ibrahim salam personified this and you and I as Muslims do this. It is a rich, incredible phrase. It is not just, Salaamu Alaikum, Alaikum It doesn't go like that. You really mean it from the bottom of your heart. You go there and you express your love because remember what Prophet Sallallahu said, this brings you love. So what is the take home message for you? Today, Afshir Salam, spread Salam among each other. When you go out in Eid, it's easy to, to the person you know say, Salam alaikum, Eid Mubarak. Find someone you don't know. Find an elderly, find a younger one you don't know. You just say, Salam alaikum, Eid Mubarak, and see the face. You'll, you'll find them a puzzled face like, uh, What disguise? I don't know you. That's okay. Alhamdulillah. That's what you gotta do. Khutbah in Eid is supposed to be short and sweet, and that's what it is. I'm going to sit for a few seconds, make dua, you make dua too. Oh. Inna alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salama ala rasulillah, Allah says in the Quran, Inna allahu wa malaikatahu yisalluna ala nabi, ya ayhu alladhina amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima, Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ala muhammad, كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر لله الحمد so the concept of salam you have a hardship with anyone you have resentment with anyone you have an argument with anyone as soon as you salam عليكم it's done that's done. You can't go in a, in a grudgingly face to say, to, to go that, ignore this. Let me give you a, a quick example. Um, if you have heard this before, pretend you heard it for the first time. Just humor me, right? Okay. And that goes to you, Munir, also. Uh, so, husband and wife, they have some arguments or so. And husband goes to work. The wife is like, you know what? I can't, I can't do this. I want, just want to, I just want to make ourselves feel good. So she door dashes some amazing food and, and the food is there and she puts a beautiful dress on. She fixes herself and takes the glasses off, all that. The guy comes in from work, I guess, supposedly. And she's like, opens the door and says, Assalamu alaikum. He's like, huh? You think, you think taking glasses off uh, makes you look good? She says, no, honey, taking glasses off makes you, makes you look good. 
And with that, inshallah, I'll say Eid Mubarak to all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.